has done wrong in this case. I, I, I cannot fathom it. Clearly, the minister did not come to lie to you. The minister came to tell you that I am not serious with authority to speak to the matter. There's an authority that's qualified to do so. Except but, but this is the and I tell you, and I tell you, the the, the minister, the minister, the minister can say that. No, no, no. He is the, the fine. He's the ultimate. He's a commander in chief of the minister. The minister is is mandated by law mm -hmm. to monitor and assess public expenditure. Okay, yeah. let, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, at the way we are live on now. Hey, welcome, welcome to State of Play, our very first edition of this very exciting new dynamic innovative conversation with you in the next 10 minutes i'm going to be telling you what you can do in fact you can join us and i see many of you uh, joining us on our live feeds it's on facebook joy 99.7 it's on joy news on a facebook channel of course you use hashtag state of play which is on twitter we are also of course on instagram live right now Wherever you are watching us from all over the world, the most important thing you can do right now is to comment and ask your questions and I will attempt an answer. So stay with us, stay with us uh, throughout. I'm going to be going into that very shortly, but I'm pretty sure you caught a bit of the conversation that we're having. Uh, I mean, you caught us, but listen, that's, that's, that's what this is all about. Let's get into it. Your argument, Raymond, is essentially that he did nothing wrong. Yes. The finance minister, who was supposed to come to parliament yesterday, was billed to come, goes there and only says, I don't have the answer, go to somebody else. My point about that whole play out yesterday was a swerve. Was that I, I, I question what the government strategy is. Because as of now, it's been well, several weeks, in fact, more than two months now. As of now, the only truth we have is the truth of Okuja Tua Blakwa. Yes. Who says 15,000 pounds an hour is what the president used. Mm -hmm. Multiplying that into more than 2 million uh, CDs. That is the only truth. He hasn't been challenged yet. So the question really is, what's the government strategy? Is the government strategy to say that is true or to say it's not true? But the balance of probability tells me it could be the case that it is actually that the government believes that this money amount that has been put out yeah. could actually be true or even worse. Because, because my point is, if it was untrue or lower, there is motivation for the government to come forward instantly to tell you Look, that this is not true. Evans, let's get to the Public Financial Management Act. It is very simple. What does it say? And it's telling you about the responsibilities of the minister. Okay? Now, if you go to H, it says manage public funds. E says account for public funds through a consolidated public uh, account mm -hmm. and supervise the financial operations of a covered entity. What is a covered entity? You're talking about the executive, the legislature, the judiciary. You're talking about ministries, departments, and agencies. The question is, when it comes to the president travels, was money released for it? Yeah. Yes. Was money released to a covered entity? Yes. So why can't the finance minister tell us? Well, no, this but, is very clear. To be but, fair, but, but, it, but, it, but, but, but the speaker clear. shot this down yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 hold on. See, the, the speaker shot this down yesterday. That's not the only problem with that. The other problem is that this is under national security, and it's been stipulated clearly. National now, security. Take your time. National security. Go, go, to, go, to, go, to, go to the Ministry uh, 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 of Finances website. They will tell you that each of the ministries in the year 2021 had a planned program budget. If you see that national security, it is very scanty. It only tells you general programs to be doing and all of that. But that can be the whole amount they have because of, of what to, they Yes, have. to be fair, it means that the details of what they do are, one, not supposed to be always out there, every mm -hmm. single detail. And if they consider this as part of that, what prevents them from saying that, well, the institution will go through it, see whether your request falls within the terrain. And it, with, with, with respect, I think that the minister was advised was advised as to what is appropriate under the circumstance. And he's following the rules as he's supposed to be. Let's not forget but, but what, but remember, the questions. But, but this, and, and, but, 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 but this is, but, but this is state of play. This is state of play. One second, I'll this, make this, this point. This is state of play. My point is, what mm -hmm. is the political cost yes. of the government deliberately not coming forth with information? Remember, no, the, 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 the Minister for National Security no, is a colleague. It's a colleague. The it's a cabinet colleague. Of, it's a cabinet colleague yes, of the Finance no. Minister. Couldn't the two of them have settled this and say, go and provide no. information? Let, let me clarify something here. This, this is the minister's answer to parliament yesterday. The current practice is that the minister of finance or ministry of finance releases quarterly funds to the heads of department, in this case, office of government machinery, chief of staff, for all the operational activities of the office mm -hmm. to facilitate the safe coordination of the president's travels, domestic and foreign, 
The Office of Government Machinery and the National Security Secretariat work together to achieve this. Yeah. He releases funds quarterly. Yes. And the Office of Government Machinery yes. works with the National Security Secretariat yes. to achieve this. Yes. These are covered entities. Mm -hmm. And the Minister of Finance can just say, Tandapa or the National Security Secretariat or Office of Government Machinery, how much did but, you give but, the National Security Secretariat? It is that simple. Unless you do not want to but, tell. But, so, but, look, but, the but minister, I have a question on this. The minister has to know. He can't say he doesn't No, but, but I have a question, Raymond. The, my question is, so, in part of the complicity and, of course, the blame, should the Speaker of Parliament take part of it? Because in spite of these laws were quoted on the floor by Atta Fawcett, yeah. right? And he shut it down. Yeah, because, I mean, let's, let's be fair. There's a procedure... You agree with his position? Yes, I agree perfectly with the Speaker on this particular one. Why? Regardless of what we will say, the Speaker of Parliament and everybody in Parliament will have an opportunity when the budget is being read to know the details of every single ministry and every office Why of government machinery. Why do we have to wait that the long? The parliament is the one that approves the budget of the office of government machinery. This is about the people. But they know at, what at they the, approve. At the time, at the time of fix the country. Again, they at the time where taxes, taxes are being paid. It's a simple case hold on, hold on, hold on. of accounting for what you spent on the trip. It's taking more than two. Let me see. The procedures of parliament are clear on that. They know what they approve. Hold on. Section 62 says that questions may be asked of ministers related to public affairs which they are officially connected. Proceedings pending in Parliament or any other matter of administration for which the minister is responsible. The man has told you that there's a level of responsibility that's within my terrain. I've done so. He's told Clearly. me he's released funds to the Office of Government yes. Machinery. But how well, much do you know? Don't you know? We know that, right? When you release funds, yes. and his functions include checking, when you release funds, you can request that. But, what did you use the funds for? You can't check every day. Oh, hold on. You can't so check every day. We but but if I remember that he had time. You told us, you told you remember that he had time. You remember that he had time. He had time. He had time to yeah. bring that. Yeah. By the way, gentlemen, um, three weeks. Three weeks. No, I, I, I mean, I, a lot I, of time. Let, 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 let me be very frank here. Let me be yeah. very frank here. Under the circumstance, I foresee a situation of there's a national security something we can't tell you. But that's not enough accountability. So, so you're, 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 you're foreseeing a situation where the, the national security minister is going to if come you, on the floor. If you, have, if you have nothing to hide. And, and say it's national security. So if you have tell nothing it. to hide, don't throw it to the national security. So, so who are you tell disappointed us. at the most? Is this the finance minister? The finance minister and the speaker. No, sorry. Okay. We start with... I, I agree with him. We start with the defense the finance ministry. minister we start with the defense and the ministry. speaker. We've gone through the finance ministry. It will take at most three but, weeks but, but for it to get the, the third question. ministry to come but, in. That's the impatience and This is the speaker, of course, who is a staunch NDC. Yeah. His own side is pushing this. Fairly and independent speaker. And he's shutting, well, that's all right. That's one of the things we can put. But he's yeah. shutting them down. Um, yesterday he did so when the, his, his side, of course, of yeah. the political divide, were, were pushing this agenda. I think with you, 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 you see that as independent. independent. Well, I, I, I see that as denying the people accountability. Exactly. Now, let, let, let's, no, let's, but you've not been denied accountability. Let's be fair. We have only different For the moment. 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 What's the big deal? So what's the big deal? If we don't know it today, we know it in the next few weeks. What will happen? Now, if the defense minister came to parliament and said, oh, this is how the president traveled. So we know how he traveled. Yeah. Right? If we know how the president traveled, why can't we know how much he spent? Because somebody's in charge of the expenditure. We're going to bring our audiences in short, but very quickly. There's a big, a second big topic that we wanted to just chip in. And I know a lot of you... Uh, who are watching us are, are, are beginning to feel this. They talk about a COVID, an impending third wave. Um, the key question to ask uh, here is, is there a correlation between failure in political leadership and, and, and a wave of COVID as we are impending now? Raymond. Now, first and foremost, I have stated that I insist that the minister who is in charge of health should resign. The minister breached his own oath. The oath is very clear about upholding the laws of this country. He admitted that he didn't take this parliament because he had some other reasons for it. That procedure could have clearly been de delineated. The reasons why we have started COVID on a good note were known. Imagine the whole world was applauding Ghana for delivering. So that was great political leadership then. Yes. It looks like, as the president said, we took our eyes off the ball and we let our guard down. We, so, didn't, so only, we didn't only do it at the level of what they call going through the procedures and actually following the so you, very you, you, you make an important point when the political leadership was good yes. you saw the results in the COVID numbers if it reflected the expenditure Le lines too. the expenditure lines too. Yeah. and COVID numbers were less mm -hmm. when the political leadership started failing yes. as in December we saw what happened in just before the elections mm -hmm. November December we saw they the reap the benefits well I mean the benefits is there is a positive spin yeah. on this we're the negative side of it in January and February with a second wave. That's true. Then we've seen political leaders who go to funerals 
and break the protocols, mm. now we are reaping an and, impending turn. And effectively, mm. it has failed also at the level of managing the finances too. Why? That's what I'm saying. So if the minister of this republic looks at my face and says, well, I needed to do this by hook or crook, so I have to sidestep every single law. I took the oath of office to actually protect, defend, and uphold, including those in the constitution. Such See, a minister well, is not worth keeping the office. Well, the president says, we have let our guard down. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I agree with you that, uh, you know, when leadership began failing, we saw the numbers going up. But we also have a role to play individually. You and I see oh, So you are, blaming, you are blaming the citizens for this. We, all, we also have to take a bit of the blame. Yes, the executive has failed. But we could have actually showed them that we are wiser by not following them. But there's political leadership. But we could have told them that. You see, when we said... There's leadership when, by example. No, but when we said they did the wrong things, we're telling them that we know what is right. And so you should have done the right thing. We didn't follow them and say, uh, because you're doing it, we are also okay. doing it. No, see, what what, what he doesn't no. get is that mm -hmm. if leadership fails, no, no, we take we expect but you are a leader in your own right. Gentlemen, 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 who, of course, has joined us on the, on the links there. And, and thank you all for joining us. And Douglas says, Evans, do we have people called leaders in parliament if they can't make account for whatever Ghanaians are seeking for? Uh, in, anybody agree with that point? He's questioning, do we have leaders in parliament? Think... My, 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 answer to, my answer to you, Douglas, is, to be fair, we lack leaders in parliament. On this particular matter, leadership from both sides, we've seen one side trying to push. Leadership from both sides should have easily secured this data for the people they represent. And parliamentarians sometimes forget. Is it too late? I mean, are we going to war tomorrow? Is why, this information why, why, so urgent why that must, without look, it, look, look, we cannot plan we, the next we compare, budget? We compare ourselves to the most advanced economies of yeah. the world, where you have the data. When Donald Trump travels, the cost of that travel is known. Yeah. It is open. You can check because he's spending the taxpayers' money. Yeah. Why should the ordinary taxpayer wait for two months to know simply how it costs my president to travel? Exactly. And then the finance minister comes and says, I can't answer that question. Go to another minister. After asking for additional so, time. So to, to answer Douglas's question, we truly lack leadership sometimes in parliament. And on this particular matter, there's been failure of leadership in parliament. Again, it's not too late. And I think we should make the point that nobody said the information will never be made available. At least that's what we know so far. We said that. Well, right, we don't know that the, yet. The right is. You see, you don't, you don't know that yet. Nobody has said that. You don't, no, wait. Nobody has said Listen, that. Listen, before the finance minister came, what was your expectation? Nobody has said no, that. No, I asked you a question. Before the finance minister came, yes. what was your expectation? That he would come and answer the question. Exactly. He came and failed. So what is He your, came and answered what, the question by the, providing no, you what a is different the basis person. of your what? what is the basis of your confidence Telling me that, that the, 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 the national security minister. minister is going to come Sorry, and answer the question? I decide not to be pessimistic about who's going to give the answer. I think that the people of this republic are getting more interested in this answer. Mm. It is only when government feels there's something to hide that they will not provide the answer. But I believe that if the National Security Ministry comes and they have the answer, they'll provide it. Isn't this it is not a okay. life okay. of okay. death. Gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Isn't it clear? Isn't it clear? Mm. Yeah. You have seen, you see, uh, Finance Minister, tell us how much the president spent. Oh, please give me some time. I'm coming. Now, we'll give you that time you come and tell us, oh, uh, based on the time you're giving me, this is what I have to tell you. That it is not uh, for me to say is the uh, national security minister, please, please. Yeah, when you let, let, listen, listen, listen. So there's a lot of fire also coming, right? <laughs> I mean, we expected that, right? So, so there's the Malcolm um, X Alive yeah. says, as you are here, don't expect all the guys to have the same opinion. This is to help you learn how to appreciate opinions, agree and disagree on issues without insults and hate. Fantastic, uh, Malcolm. And it, it goes on. This show is academic exercise and all smart people should enjoy it. And then there's a reply to Malcolm by Eric Kwabla. Not when someone is deliberately supporting the thieves. There should be a presumption of people being thieves in the first place. And no finding has been... I, 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 I should mention your name. No, no, he's not mentioning my name. But so why, why are you arrogating I'm it I'm setting the record straight. Are you the one supporting the thieves? Because we like binary thinking in this country. And that's the kind of thinking he has here. Oh, are you addressing Eric? Speak to him. Yeah, Eric is No, I'm saying him. that it is only binary thinking that says that merely because a time has to be fair for answers, it means that people are stealing. Stealing is a procedure that you ought to properly prove. None has been proven in this case. 
In any case, when it's being held to court to go and prove that somebody has stolen something, would you have any answers for it? So okay. what's from this claim? So, so I have a question for you because this yeah. you should answer. Richard Vomer was says, guys, how about the way gift mix works? And Good. I know you are the final. You are the final. You, you, okay, attempt an answer. So, so generally, this this is to Richard. You go Vomer. to gift mix like a finance software, make a demand and get your response from it. Then you can go and spend. Yeah. So I agree with him that to some extent, the finance minister may be able to, if it's properly audited, get the information about what requests were made and for which date and which period, so that I can get the right financing coming through. But so if the expenditure went through the system, yes, the appropriate system, of which there are sanctions, if you yeah. don't go through gift mix, there are sanctions That's that you, you must be given. So if it went through that system, mm -hmm. the finance minister can easily have it. Yeah. Okay. So your, so, so your answer to him is that there's a gift mix Excuse the finance minister? It doesn't excuse him. It actually should aid him provide it answers. It should aid him rather. to provide answers. But so, if, but so, so the question we need to my ask reliance is, is it go through gift mix? Section 62, which I just read to you, that if the minister is responsible for it, the minister says, I'm not. There's a grouping that's supposed to give you that detail. See, he might have released money, but the details are what we have been asking for, which is, okay, so are you not interested whether that airplane the president used or might have used has a very wonderful washroom in it? Are you not interested in that answer? Um... Are you not interested in the answer? Uh, if, How does the if, finance minister get to answer such a question? But, but that's what the question was asked. That's what the, the question, question was asked. The question the finance minister was asked. What's the simple matter? Cost. How, how much? How much? Cost. How it much? goes beyond that. How much? If somebody member somebody pay, and, and, and here's the thing. Somebody paid and collected receipts. This is something you can verify and get as if, in, in, a, in, in, a, in an hour. It's or not less. as if we don't know what All the thing is. There's more. There's more, guys. There's more, guys. Kwesi Blue says, everything under the sun is leadership. The rest are effects. Thus, leadership plays a major role in the shaping of mindset and behavior of the masses. Uh, leadership has failed every sector of government and economy. So we really need to fix the country from the leadership level, and every other thing will fall in the right. Is that, is that really true? Yeah, largely. Is it, is it all about leadership? Yes, it's mostly all about leadership. But, but, but how do you define leadership? Is it leadership us in the political leaders or us leaders, uh, leaders us in all of all us? Of us. No, no, all of us. All of us. All of us. Leaders. No, no, first and foremost. All of us. In our part of the world, there is so much power entrusted to a few, so leadership cannot necessarily be all of us. Let's stop this thinking. Listen, I cannot enforce So can, can I say the president I, I cannot, and parliament cannot, alone can solve all our problems? I cannot enforce the laws of this country. I cannot dictate the laws of this country. But there you can choose who have been to observe the law. If you, if you choose to observe the law, he does, I do. You don't have to, you don't need enforcement. But, but we have to look up to somebody to lead the way. Do you know that? And somebody would also the look determination up to you of, to lead the way. The determination of what the laws are but supposed somebody to be look up to you what somebody's doing. Way. Let's not check responsibility by allowing people to feel that there can be different sort of laws for no, no, those no, no, at the no, top no, no, and no, no, other no, no. people at the no, no, down no, no. there. Nobody has said that. We have said, while they have failed, we have also played a role. Because look, all of us sat here and said, these persons did not do the right thing. So what? When it goes to the who's supposed to be, what does that change? When we came with the executive COVID law breakers, yeah. We said the president, vice president, ministers, chief justice, the general secretary of the NDC did not do the right thing. Yeah, but because as much as we not say that other people hold of what they call it. Hold on, hold on, uh, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, because we knew the right, also because we it. knew the right thing. We said it because we knew the right thing. The Ghanaians who criticized them did so because they knew they were wrong. And so let us not just sit but, back but, and but, say but, they really must have been. This is a big one. Yeah. On December 7th. Yeah. We vote for them. Yes. That, is, that is our part in this. But yes. That is our part in this. In spite of everything else that we say, we, but we, we are the people who elect them. But, uh, but I, have, I, have a, I, have a good, um, I have a good comment I need to read. Herbert yes. in De Gaulle. Herbert De Gaulle uh, is, on, is down there and he says, please, this goes to the panel. Is it deliberate to put together three solid headmasters on one show? Where, where I'm master? unsure where the headmaster is. Where, where, where headmaster is. <laughs> address him. Address him, please. No, 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 Degas, no, no, address him. No, no, no. I am. I mean, if what Herbert uh, uh, is thinking is what I'm thinking, then you probably put together two headmasters. Not three so. Headmasters. Are you counting yourself out of the heads? I'm out of this. <laughs> oh, this man. Can you believe that? <laughs> but, 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 so, but, but I think I think we need to agree on, on consensus basis that he is the chief headmaster. Oh. Followed by you. <laughs> well, okay. so we can do that. We can agree agree that. <laughs> Papa Tiefi says, I'm enjoying the show, guys. This is uh, uh, No Holds but, uh, Up show, and I'm loving it. Thank you, Papa. Uh, grateful. Uh, Uncle Evans, I totally agree with you. We lack leadership in parliament. That is Tindan Francis. Uh, so obviously it means he disagrees with you on the matter. Uh, Ajib Gold, defend these criminals in government and destroy your reputation. It's simple as that. 
because they are not criminals being talked about here. And so it cannot be a defense of something that's non-existent and cannot be a reputation loss for defending that something that's non-existent. So it's whole look statement. I don't know if you get my point. I don't One, you have, to again, again. you have to determine that they are criminals in this case. And that has not been determined. By conviction. So, so, yeah, I mean, not necessarily so. I mean, there should be a very wonderful basis for making that. You can't just throw words around and say that people lose this reputation because you, you have a misconstrued appreciation of who a criminal is. That's the problem. Why are you looking at me? I need, I need, I, I, <laughs> I, I, am, I am speaking I to just, him through you. I just, that. I, I, just, I, just, I just, um, gold send that thing. And mm. so I, I was just reading it. By the way, Yaira Huse says, third wave is a fault of all, but political leadership has failed us. You don't make laws for me and go about these laws. Are uh, they human than us? And again, Raymond, you took that position. Yes, I'm saying that the general principle of rule of law is that everybody is bound by the laws. But there is a higher responsibility on the gentleman who put together the laws and his people who actually approve the laws to be the ones leading by example. If leadership was useless, we would have chosen a, a headless state where we all be at the same level. Perhaps in the clear cut of Thomas Hobbes where state of nature will be coming to play. Mm -hmm. But let's think of it properly. Because we look up to people, that's why we put them, place them in leadership. We do not necessarily place people that we cannot look up to in leadership. So if they fail in that category, they cannot mm -hmm. be excused by saying that, oh, others are doing it, and the followers should dictate what the leaders should do. What's the point there? Okay, so, so, so here's one. Is that how the program is going to be? And this is to you, um, uh, Winston. You guys are disagreeing to agree, kekeo. I thought you were going to take one issue and address it dito dito. Well, that's, that's, uh, from, um, that's, uh, that's for Fred, for the champion. Well, Fred, I mean, we've taken two issues today. And we've told you what we think. And I've also asked you to tell us what you think. We'll take this as your comment. Uh, but so far as I am concerned, this is what we've always promised. Yeah, I mean, the bottom line, uh, Fred, this is an issue. You can't expect all of us to agree on one, one subject. Um, there are different views to an issue, and you represent a view. So I'm pretty sure if you express a view on this, you will probably agree or disagree with one of us. But as far as we're concerned, the dito dito, yeah, you've heard the guys quote a lot of, uh, you can form your own opinion based on the facts and opinion that you've had here. Now, I have um, a very interesting one from Adebora, who says, Raymond, if someone tries dodging to answer questions as a public officer, a steward of the public purse is and can be said to be stealing, that behavior of refusing to provide answers to one's responsibility is proof enough. That what? You are stealing? Yeah. That's not the definition of stealing in law. I'm not sure which law he read, but clearly it's not a definition of stealing in law. Unless he proves me otherwise. <laughs> um, let's be fair. Stealing is dishonestly appropriating. Uh, when you have no intention of actually... But, 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 but where there's honesty, it's easy to, to give evidence to back what you You what just you picked one element of a three-strong definition of stealing. He cannot just do that. Clearly. Okay. Yes. Well, Kwame Safwansiedu also is, uh, is watching and says, Guys, do you remember the number of ministerial nominees it took to get an answer to the airport antigen testing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How okay. did you expect just one minister <laughs> to provide answers to the cost of presidential travel? Ah, you people, pa! And he's playing out again. Uh, the defense minister is going to direct us to the finance minister. Yeah, so that means it's uh, the now He's also directed us to the national security minister. You know, when it got to the antigen testing, we, I mean, we moved from health minister, we went to foreign affairs minister, national security Information minister, minister, until, you know, finally the transport minister came in. And we saw what happened. So we know well, that's the standard well, practice. Well, well, so what well, is the problem? Well, well, let's just sorry, hold. sorry. So that's the standard practice. What's the hold problem? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If that's the standard hold practice, what's the problem? Hold on, hold on. Let's just hope that when the national security minister comes, he doesn't tell us yeah, the national security and, issues. And what, what's your level of uh, expectation on that? Because um, with all that we've seen, remember, defense minister came first, you know, didn't quite answer the question, although he was on my show. Yes. and Challenging Okuja was Lapa. absolutely wrong. And I was challenging him. But if you say he's wrong, then give me the alternative. And he says, well, that's not my... But view. the only sort of proof is the one alleging. Yeah. Not the one who is actually challenging it. Listen, there, there are a few comments coming on Twitter also okay. that we want to quickly go through. Uh, uh, this one from TJ says, it does not make sense to me in the first place who approved the financial statements of the president's traveling. Minister of Finance is traveling. is trying to play mind games with the ordinary citizens. And, and, and I agree, uh, TJ, uh, about this particular matter because it's so simple to verify because you pay for a, a, a private jet, you, you, the, the, you'll be issued first with an invoice, and that will quote, and then you'll pay for it. Somebody must, must be in charge of that. And that's as simple as calling the person a jubilee or whatever it is who made a payment to tell you. Yes. Wasted. But, 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 but you know, Kwame Safwan comes with something which is very interesting. He says, 
It is interesting that West Thing is hammering on the issue of personal responsibility. When people say fix your attitude, people get vexed. It is interesting to know that <laughs> in Ghana, when sometimes <laughs> something fails, it's leadership. Mm. The masses, unfortunately, are being told that they do not know what is right or wrong. Okay, so but but that but that's an interesting point. As in that we don't trust in the intelligence of the people of our people. I do. That they can figure they can I figure do. out. I what do. it is, they know. And that's why we criticize. Mean, they, they know what leadership is. My training. only problem is the connection with the fix yourself part. <laughs> because we all know that the fix yourself, as, as agreed by even some government officials, was misconstrued exactly. and completely out of range. But, so it's not, it's not the same here. Of course. The fix yourself is not the same here. Of course. But the point he's making about, I mean, we're not trusting leadership and all of that. It's our responsibility to also hold up to account. Fine. And see, listen, Evans, you've given somebody a job to do. Very fine job. Pay them so well. So well. They can't give you excuses that, oh, you can also depart out of the job. Do it properly. Even though I'm giving you a job to do. Will you take that? If you're a private employer, will you take that? Too? No, of course not. Ah, come on. So what will you do at the, at the end of... Well, because you have the part. You insist they do their job, the job or you fire them. So okay. there's one from Evershed Ameko that says, start this show from 2 p.m. 30 minutes there. No lie. Give us a one-hour show. Okay. We'll see. Um, Dr. Al Algebra uh, is on Twitter says, uh, uh, Algebra, I'm expecting this is going to be proper <laughs> on finance. He says, for the finance minister to rehearse on what to say for seven weeks, <laughs> only to come and tell us to ask the national security minister, is enough reason to confirm that there was a profligate expenditure. And remember, that, those are words that uh, Huidita Blaka had used in, uh, in his piece on the president's travels. And, and, and indeed, I agree with this. Remember the, the argument I made about uh, it's, it's balance? Me, it's merely anecdotal. No, wait, 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 wait. It's merely balance, anecdotal. Balance of probabilities. Yeah. It's taking so long. If the government had data and information that contradicts Okujito's 2 million plus amount, which was far less, you think the government would have stayed so long and, 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 and not provide that, that answer? It would have been so instant. If I, I want to it, it's, it's more probable mm -hmm. that it's either same or more. And when you drop this in the midst of fix the country, disenchantment with taxes and all, this is the toxic mix. So you can actually, somebody who can actually credit the government for saying, the best option is to keep quiet. Uh, let Okuja to have this 15,000 pound an hour. <laughs> and let's keep our, whatever it is that we have. So that, that, you're basically that saying that government is interested in keeping the information from its people. Yeah, because, but for what reason? Because, because There's a political it feels cost. that the... The, the cost is so high That's a that cost. it makes nonsense mm. of having to deliver it to the mm. people so that you're not seen as being profligate. That's what you're saying. Okay. Gentlemen, uh, finally, and these are very strong words, he knows. He's literally telling Ghanaians to go use uh, four-letter words <laughs> ourselves. He won't, tell us, he won't tell us, and there's nothing we can do about it. This government and these appointees have no iota of conscience. They have no souls, sheer wickedness, uh, he says. I mean... Um, final one, the press uh, travel is showing its face like Domelevo's audit on Crow. Watch out keenly as they go behind secu uh, security excuse to avoid explanation. If uh, can of that security can answer, why can Ken of MOF? To be fair, we still have time to wait for Kanda Part to come and tell us this story that we are yet to get from him. I think we should have a little bit more patience and get that information. It is not too late so, to wait. So you, you, have, it's, you, it's, you, you, can, you, you have patience for political authority when it comes to accountability? I have patience when I think there's a reasonable time being given. It sounds dodgy so far, but they're still giving us an alternative. I mean, he has if Kanda it, Park it, it comes sounds, back and says why, that... Why would it sound dodgy? Have, why would it sound dodgy? It sounds dodgy because of the people who have been involved. But then, okay. again, but then again, I'm still in the position... Let, to listen, Raymond, a final yeah. one before we, we wrap up. When it was JM, we said he was incompetent. Now we are trying very hard to push blame from leadership to citizens. I agree with Raymond. Well, that's... Uh, who, who is that? Uh, who, who is that? He's Kwame Nkrumah Akwa. Yeah, he has your name. He's a very brilliant guy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, uh, that's, that's the show uh, today. Um, um, listen, we, we're going to end, but of course the conversation continues on our pages. Um, I do I need to outro myself? I don't need to. Um, you know my name. You know his name. You know, if, if, you, if you struggle, just say the heads and you're sorted. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you do.